All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Recently, Hurricane Milton tore through the state of Florida, bringing massive flood. Homes were destroyed, power was cut off for millions, and communities were left devastated. People ask, why is this happening? Some point to climate change, but as Muslims, we know that everything occurs by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in the Quran, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما نرسل بالآيات إلا تخويفا and we send not the signs except to warn another verse from Surah Al-Ankabut reminds us فكلا أخذنا بذنبه فمنهم من أرسلنا عليه حاصبا ومنهم من أخذته الصيحة ومنهم من خسفنا به الأرض ومنهم من أغرقنا وما كان الله ليظلمهم ولكن كانوا أنفسهم يظلمون so we seized each of them for his sin. Of them were some on whom we sent a violent wind, and of them were some who were overtaken by the blast, and of them were some whom we caused the earth to swallow, and of them were some whom we drowned, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not have wronged them, but it was they who were wronging themselves. Therefore, you will find Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, When you see these things, like natural calamities, seek refuge with Allah and beg His forgiveness. And when you read the Quran, you will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also reminds us of the people of Ad and Thamud, powerful nations who were destroyed due to their arrogance and refusal to repent. The people of Ad were known for their strength and impressive architecture. However, they rejected the message of their Prophet Hud السلام, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a violent wind that destroyed them over seven nights and eight days. As for Ad, they were destroyed by a furious, bitter wind. The people of Thamud, on the other hand, were skilled in carving homes from mountains, but they disobeyed their Prophet Saleh, peace be upon him. As a result, a blast overtook them. فَأَخَذَتْهُمُ الصَّيْحَةُ مُصْبِحِينَ So the blast overtook them in the early morning. These stories serve as warnings that no matter how strong or advanced a people may be, when they turn away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his punishment can come swiftly. What should we do when such events happen? Seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet, peace be upon him, would make dua during storms, saying, O oh Allah, I ask you for the good of it, the good within it, and the good it was sent with, and I seek refuge with you from its evil, the evil within it, and the evil it was sent with. Engage in istighfar, seek forgiveness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُعَذِّبَهُمْ وَهُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ And Allah would not punish them while they seek forgiveness. Increase in good deeds, calamities should remind us of the temporary nature of this world, pushing us to invest in our hereafter. During natural events like storms or eclipses, the Prophet, peace be upon him, would turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fearing his punishment. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, narrated that when the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, saw a cloud, his face would change, fearing it might bring punishment. He would say, O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from its evil. Let's not be heedless of these signs. Hurricanes, earthquakes, floods, meant to remind us to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and repent. Our goal is not just survival in this life, but success in the afterlife. Let's be among those who heed Allah's signs before it's too late. Jazakumullahu khairan for watching. May Allah protect us and guide us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.